Hello everyone, my name is Roland. Today I want to talk about a very subtle temptation that can make you guilty and you won't know why you feel guilty or anxious. Maybe not guilty but anxious. See, a lot of times we feel anxious and we don't recognize it as being guilt. We feel a little bit uneasy. And the subtle temptation I want to make you aware of is uh, the use of, uh, um, of our gadgets like um, iPhone, internet and so on and there's okay first of all um, there's um, we can spend a lot of we can waste a lot of time surfing the internet looking for the best deals on this and the best plane ticket rates and the best hotel rates and the best the, 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 where to buy shoes and which store has the cheapest shoes and you see what I mean it's a lot of trivia and it's a waste of time from the important things in life it's a waste of time from the important things in life. Finding your, your purpose for existence. Attending to your family. Being a good citizen. There's so many things uh, that are important. Uh, prayer. Um, forgiving other people. Not resenting other people. Being patient with people. There's so many things that are important. And when you spend uh, time the internet can use up a lot of time, the iPhone can use up a lot of time, the tablet, so on. So watch out for that. The other temptation, subtle temptation, is uh, knowledge itself. Remember in the Garden of Eden it was a tree of the fruit of knowledge of good and evil that was the temptation. See, we have within us our intuition, our God-given intuition, where we can know things without even knowing how we know. See, Einstein had his intuition. The great explorers the great um, discoverers, the great scientists have intuition and so do we by which you can know right from wrong which way to go, which way not to go see when you neglect that and turn instead to uh, everything everything and everyone else you get all caught up in lots and lots of knowledge much learning is a weariness of the flesh it says in, uh, is it Ecclesiastes where it says that? So watch out for the temptation to puff up with knowledge and feel like you know a lot simply because you visit some websites and gathered some information. Do you see what I mean? And finally, the other temptation is that uh, these things make us feel important. When we get text messages, when we get emails, when people are calling us, uh, when, we f when we know what um, um, LeBron is uh, texting to someone or what uh, some movie star is texting. You see what I mean? It makes us feel important, but it's an importance we don't deserve. And we're not, ma we're not mature enough for many of the entertainments. There's a lot of entertainment, a lot of videos, a lot of music. Um, we're, we're not mature, en mature enough. A little, a little bit of very good quality entertainment, perhaps, after the work is done. See? But not before the work is done. And not during the work. See what I mean? So first things first, put first the kingdom of God in his right way, and all other things will be added unto you. First things first, do what you know is right in your heart. Attend to the important things. And if you feel guilty, then get my meditation. If you feel anxious, get my meditation. And stand back, become objective to these uh, gadgets that you have, and to all of this knowledge and all of these distractions, so you can see what's happening, so you can observe it. Stand back from it, not be so involved in it, and you'll be okay. My name is Roland.